வணக்கம் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் ஆன் பயோமெடிக்கல் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டேஷன் இந்த லாஸ்ட் வீக்ஸ் கண்டென்ட் வி ஜஸ்ட் ஹேட் அன் ஓவர் வியூ ஆஃப் சம் பேசிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் பயோமெடிக்கல் சென்சர்ஸ் அண்ட் வாட் இட் வி லுக் அட் வி லுக் அட் வாட் ஆர் த வேரியஸ் கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் பர்ஃபார்மன்ஸ் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் தோஸ் யூ ரீகால் sensitivity resolution linearity dynamic range stability drift and so on and so forth and some other topics we looked at all these topics in this series of videos we look at the various basic types of sensors and principle of operation of these sensors first of all what is the use of these in biomedical field a biomedical sensor is essentially it's a type of transducer that delivers usable electrical output that is that is proportional and preferably linear to some physiological parameter that can that can be biological parameter that can be a chemical quantity that can be a physical quantity for example it may be pressure it may be ion activity it may be temperature it may be displacement and also there is a need to use some analog signal conditioning systems for example if you use a strain gauge or a resistive sensors commonly we use bridge networks or sometimes there might be a need to use charge amplifiers or trans impedance amplifiers this is needed in cases that involve charge storage or charge charging and discharging such as capacitive sensors and then sometimes you may need to do signal conditioning using filters analog to digital converters and uh, computer computer computational devices and sometimes there might be a need to use a calibration matrix and all this now let's look at the various types of these sensors these sensors come in different types of resistive sensors strain gauges for example are one type of resistive sensors thermistors are another type of resistive sensors capacitive sensors these are pressure sensors these are displacement sensors and then inductive sensors such as lvdt is linear variable differential transformer then we also have piezoelectric sensors that are used to detect force and then there are modern hall effect sensors that that sense magnetic field and then there are optical sensors and electro chemical sensors so let's start our discussion with resistive sensors but first of all what is a sensor a sensor i already mentioned this but we'll say it again it is a device that detects some physiological physical chemical or biological characteristics or phenomenon some uh, in this case we say an object but in this case a physiological phenomenon that is happening in a biological organism a living usually in this particular case we are also interested in biomedical instrumentation for humans a living person so whatever is happening sometimes within a person or in a human being or on a human being this is getting converted into an electrical quantity find out take some time use 
your search skills and try to find out what is the difference between a sensor and a transducer. Typical interview question. What is the difference between a sensor and a transducer? A sensor is something that converts these parameters, physical, chemical, biological, physiological parameters into an electrical quantity. What is a transducer then? Find out. So the definition of a sensor according to Instrument Society of America is a device that provides usable output in response to a some specified measured quantity. Or in this case, biomedical sensor, when we say biomedical sensor, we are interested in a physiological measurement, a physiological measured quantity. And this word sensor, the technical word sensor, comes from the Latin word sensor, which means to perceive. What are the examples of sensors? Barometer, barometer measures, pressure, photoresistors are those that are sensitive to light. Those whose resistance changes as a function of the light that is incident on it. Accelerometers shown here is an example of MPU 6050 six axis inertial motion unit that is it has three axis gyroscope and three axis accelerometer then advanced forms of this include mpu 9250 that can also comes with magnetometers there are also other forms of uh, these imus that come with their own inbuilt microcontroller their own inbuilt complementary filters, fusion algorithms, etc. Also shown here is a strain gauge sensor, one that converts force or pressure into a electrical voltage. How is what is the principle of operation? We will see that in a bit. Essentially, if you apply pressure that produces a physical change in the material causing a strain thus changing the resistance of this material thus the output voltage will change because of the applied pressure or force when this relationship is linear i can come up with a one to one relationship between the measured voltage and the actual applied force and using this principle, I can measure the voltage using simple techniques, like in, in, in simple terms, using a voltage display system, CRO, voltmeter, or, or, or a number of methods, analog to digital conversion and computational methods, and then try to understand what the applied force is, for example. What is the need for these sensors in biomedical field? Now, these sensors are required in various applications in biomedical engineering or in human health because they measure or they help us understand, come up with methods of understanding of various physiological phenomena that help us identify the state of health of a person, diagnosis and treatment of a patient and they convert these physiological signals into electrical signals what is the fundamental thing what's the big deal about converting this to electrical signals because electrical signals lend themselves to easy processing you can process them as analog or digital signal pro processing methods so if you are going to use these these methods these sensors you need to understand what is the principle of operation so that you can use an appropriate sensor for the appropriate application you need to know what is it that you are trying to measure and use an appropriate sensor for the occasion so as a biomedical engineer you need to know what is the physiological parameter of interest and then use it to use it to come up with an appropriate choice of sensor.
so shown here are some of the wearable systems for example wearable are film based film type uh, sensors that perform different types of sensing and here are some of the classification of sensors what are these if the measurement is for example acoustic say we are interested in some sounds we are interested in measuring wave amplitude velocity phase or say we are interested in measuring a specific biomass concentration identity states some chemical components concentration identities say how much of a particular chemical is present in how much relative quantity for example how much hemoglobin is present in the blood how much blood sugar is there before eating before breakfast and after breakfast for example these are critical chemical measurements some of these are absolute some of these may be relative well the difference is that some of these have absolute units some of these come as proportion to the total that is either as a proportion of the total or as a percentage percentage by mass percentage by volume and then radiation energy intensity and then there are various electrical measurements for example potential differences current charge for flow electric field permittivity and then magnetic field magnetic flux and then temperature by the way temperature is a critical measurement because for example if the temperature goes above a certain range it could cause serious damage to internal organs of the body and there is a, a grand control system that makes sure that the temperature of the human body lies within a reasonable acceptable range that's why if serious fever is there it is an indication of some underlying infection or some underlying disease so temperature sensor of course there are sensors that come in various forms for uh, measurement of temperature those for example the cheap 200 rupee or the less expensive or the inexpensive 200 rupee thermometer digital thermometer and uh, then during covid time we were interested in having thermometers that can measure temperature of a person using non contact method what is the fundamental difference in principle of operation of these as a biomedical engineer it is not just enough for you to know how to use this more importantly we need to know what is the principle of operation and what are the design considerations of this you know, we are biomedical engineers and then optical systems optical measure measuring optical quantities mechanical quantities such as force pressure acceleration angular velocity stress strain and so on and so forth another way in which you can classify is using energy power that is whether they are active or passive and another method i already mentioned this is to whether they are they have a contact with the human body are they invasive sometimes some of them may be invasive some of them may be used on the human body but not inside the human body some of them may be non contact they might not even touch the person so that's another way in which i can classify another method is how do they convert signal biological chemical and physical and uh, what are the output signal types analog and digital signal types so if uh, if uh, it, does it provide analog signal as the output or does the sensor itself digitize it and provide digital signals there are some sensors that output the data in digital form and what are the possible applications of course in this case we are interested in human health and we already looked at some of the some of the parameters of interest for us performance parameters or performance measures such as 
sensitivity, dynamic range, linearity, stability, resolution, and uh, drift, for example, and so on and so forth. And uh, I already also mentioned that some of them are absolute measures, and some of those are proportions or relative measures. Some of them, these two are not interchangeable. Proportions means uh, a part of a whole, part of the total. Relative means with respect to some reference, fundamental difference. For example, thermocouple measures a temperature change with respect to a reference temperature. Fundamental difference. With this, we will end this brief lecture. We will continue in the next record.